Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss string and its function inside JavaScript. A string can be defined as a sequence of letter, digit, punctuation, and so on. A string in a JavaScript is wrapped with single or a double quotes. String can be joined together with plus operator, which is called a concatenation. For example, there is one string, my string. And I want to concat two string over there. My college name is, and one more string Darshan to that. In the previous session, we already have seen this plus operator. Let's see an example. For example, here what I want, I want to create two different string variable a equal to Darshan variable b equal to institute. And I want to create a third variable which concats a and b. So I can simply write variable c equal to a plus b. And I can simply write document dot write to c, which will provide me the concatenation of variable a and b, which is Darshan Institute. When I refresh the page, it will concat the string. If I want space between them, I can simply concat one more string in between them with a space. So it will concat A and B with space in between. Let's see. So there is a space. So this is how we can concat two strings in JavaScript. A string is an object in JavaScript. So there can be properties and methods to that. One of the most important property for a string is its length. So if you want to find a length to the string, we can simply write C dot length. Dot length is an, a property to the string object and it will return the length of that particular string. There are some methods too, like character at. This is very important part of this particular uh, JavaScript session because everything in every programming language, the way you treat string is the most important. So string manipulation methods you supposed to learn. And this is the first method which we are going to learn character at. For example, I want a character at fifth index from the concated string or in other way if it would be easier if we write only single string for example we have only one string there's an institute of engineering and technology and I want c dot care at this is the way we can use c sorry a dot character at a is the variable name a string and char at is a function to this particular string and i want character at zero for example we are specifying index as a zero so obviously it will return me this d ready because the string index will start from zero and it is returning d if I want this particular character, what I can do, I can count the character. This is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. So if I write a dot character at seven, it will return me the sorry zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Sorry, for n we can simply need to write six. Starting with zero. We can simply specify which character we want from this particular string using char at. Next is a index of. It would be the same complement to the character at. For example, here from the index we are finding the character. In character at, we are specifying index and it is returning the index of that particular uh, sorry character from that particular index 
and if we write index of and if you specify the character like I want the index of H I want index of H from A and it will return me the index of H and that index is 4 obviously 0 1 2 3 and 4 but there is one problem for example if I specify index of A there are many occurrences of character A inside our string so which index it will return it will return the first index of the occurrence so it will return only the this particular index because this is the first occurrence of A same method is there to check the last index of we can simply specify last index of to get the last occurrence of character A and it will return the index of this particular A which is 33 okay and if we want to find an index for example I am simply writing index of A so obviously it will return me one index of this but I want to find the occurrence of the next A after this so it would be something here sorry so I can simply write a two argument instead of one I want index of a after three so it will start searching from here only and it will return the index of this a so now it will returning me five so this is how I can simply play with index of last index of and character at character at is it will give the character at the given index whereas index of will return the index of that particular character the first occurrence and if we specify last index of it will give the last index of that particular character next is a substring and sub str this is very important to differentiate between these two methods in JavaScript to get the substring we have two different methods one is a sub string and another is sub str so let's see an example and find how we can uh, differentiate these two methods for example I am creating one more variable variable b equal to a dot sub string here I am writing full sub string and I am specifying the in starting index as well as one value I'm not gonna reveal it as of now we are giving two parameters 0 comma 5 and same I'm specifying a different variable C but here we are using only sub str okay and then we are printing these particular variables separately value of b equal to and I'm concating b over here same way I'm doing for value of c and c I want that to be in a new line so I'm simply writing br tag over here okay and when we see the output there will be no difference same darsh here also darsh so it is very uh, important to find what are the parameters we are actually giving in substring let's see first the only substring part of this method substring 0 comma 5 the first parameter is for the index starting index from where you want to start your uh, substring for example if I specify 2 over here it will give me rsh so our original index uh, string is here what we have done is we are starting with the second index so it will skip 0 and 1 and start with r s and h ready r s and h so from starting from 2 
till 5 starting from 2 till 5 it won't include fifth index it is zeroth index first second third fourth and fifth we have specify 5 but it won't include a inside the string from 2 till 5 but not including 5 itself so it will only return this okay but if we specify only sub str or we are again commenting this particular line and if i specify 2 comma 5 over here output will be different you can see it is returning r s h a n because when we write sub str first parameter is same a starting index but here the next parameter is the length you want so it is not the ending index it is just the length you want so starting from 2 0 1 and 2 I want 5 characters this is the length of the character you want in your substring whereas in substring it is just the end index next is value of we can use value of to find the value for that as of now we are going to skip this particular line we are going to see one more method to that next is it to lower case and to upper case when we want to convert our string to lower case we can simply write to lower case for example i want to convert whole string into the Sm uh, small uh, lower case so what i can do document dot write and i can simply write a dot to to lower case and the output would be all the string is converted into lower case same way we can write to upper case and the output is is converted whole string in the uppercase so this is how you can play with your string inside your javascript there is one more method if you want to use you can replace the strings for example i am saying variable b equal to a dot replace i want to replace say for example darshan to gc government engineering college so what I am specifying is I want to replace Darshan from this particular string and I want to replace it with GEC and I am simply writing A over here. Output would be sorry we need to print B over here because we are after replacing we saved it to the variable B. So you can see Darshan is replaced with the GEC. We can even use some small character. For example, I want to change all the A to has. So it will replace all the occurrence of A, not all. Why? Because it will just replace the first occurrence. If you want to uh, have all replaced you can simply write like g slash a slash g which represents i want to have all the occurrence of my a to be replaced with has so this is a bit trickier if you simply specify a over here it will simply replace the first occurrence of the string with has if you want them all to be replaced you can simply need to specify slash g after the string here there is one more difference let's see if i replace here i am writing capital a for example and i am replacing all the a with has so 
when we run this particular thing you can see the capital a is not replaced because by default is it is case sensitive if you want to replace case insensitive you simply need to write over here slash a slash i now this particular a also will be replaced okay to have a case in uh, case insensitive replace you need to write slash a if you want to replace all the occurrence you can simply write slash g okay so this was all about string handling in javascript thank you